Well, hi there. Welcome to the Obi Thor Alliance. I'm Jake and I'm Luke, and we're the YouTube channel that offers non-biased opinions from that of two different perspectives. We've got that of someone on the autism spectrum and someone on who's not. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, what are we doing, Jake? In the synopsis of a movie and trying to guess what it is and trying to have fun with it, yeah. Yeah, so we're each going to take turns of describing vaguely the synopsis of a movie um, and trying to cleverly disguise what that movie is so that the other person won't guess it. So the, the way we describe it will be, in fact, correct, but the key is to try and be sneaky in the way you hide some details so that the other person can't get it. Mm. Um, so we're going to do a scissors, paper, rock to determine who goes first, and we're going to do three. So we'll see who can get the most points. Mm. Okay, you ready? Scissors, Scissors paper, paper, rock. Okay, I'll go first. So, what have I written down? So the synopsis of this movie is, so we've got a, a city that is completely corrupt from all levels of government. We've got, you know, we've got crime, we've got problems in the, in the mayor's office, you know, there's, there's just crime in the police department. And this story follows a man who, with the help of his lawyer friends, are trying to take down the crime that's in this city by trying to expose the corruptness that's in there, particularly within the Italian crime families. Italian crime families? My first instincts is to go with um, the Batman, but that would be too obvious. Very. I two. guess the Batman? you got to be more specific than that. Ah, uh, the Batman with Robert Patterson. You're close. It's the Dark Knight. Oh, okay. But I guess that that is vague because they are both uh, trying to expose it. But uh, I think I went. It to sounded the... like a Batman. Yeah, I was trying to be sneaky by chucking the fact about the lawyer because in the Dark Knight, his um like love interest that she's a lawyer. Mm. Yeah. Very good choice. Okay, so your go. My turn. Well, in this movie, these two men both serve the military and they both love the same woman and they uh, both fight against the different force, but unfortunately they uh, can't both have the same woman, so uh, it doesn't end well. Hmm. Would I have seen this movie? Mm -hmm. I'm leaning towards something to do with Star Wars, and we've got um, we've got Luke Skywalker and Han Solo fighting over Princess Leia. So, which Star Wars is that going to be? Um, well, it could be any of them. So I'll just go with uh, a new. Would hope. you like me to give you a hint? Okay. It when I mean soldiers are. It's more spoilers, but it's it's not sci-fi. Okay. I love the same woman, but it's not possible. Um, maybe I'll go with um, The Last Jewel. Yes. Yeah. It's been too nice there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... Did you like that synopsis? I do. I think I was kind of put trying to work out like, why they can't love the, each person, but then I guess it's true, but it's, I guess, because one of them has to die. Yeah, so, that's yeah. why it was the last jewel. No, it's very well disguised. Okay, <laughs> so th in this movie, uh, it follows two, two friends who had graduated college together and they've both got their dream job, and they've both got the dream job at the same place, and... Um, through that, one of them quite foolishly makes a mistake and introduces their world to a threat which could ruin civilization for all of them. But through this, they work out that maybe this threat could actually be the thing that could save their civilization. I'll give you a hint. This is... Well, I wouldn't say sci-fi, but it's fictional. So they're not human. Oh, is this like Avatar? I'll give you 10 more seconds to that other thing. Or you can ask. I'll let you ask a question. These two friends. Um, it's not Terminator. No, 
It was Monsters Inc. Oh, okay. So we got Mike and Sully. They get their job at uh, oh, together, yes. and then the threat is the little girl, mm. and then they work out through laughter she can save their civilization. Very clever. This next uh, synopsis is uh, this teenage boy has one wish. And he goes to the genie and the wish ends up imploding and not going so well. Mm. Oh, genie. Well, my first thought was something to do with Aladdin, but I don't know if I'd consider him a teenager. So the only other movie I can think of that has a genie in it, which is like, um, it's got Shaq in it. It's like, it's not Shazam, something like that. Shazam? I think that's the name of the movie. Uh, Shazam? No. The, the movie I'm thinking of is something similar to that, but it's not It's not Shazam, like the one that just recently came out. Oh, uh, that's wrong? Yeah, what was it? Spider-Man No Way Home, because he's a teenage boy, and then he goes and sees Doctor Strange, who is a wizard slash genie. Mm, I don't know if I'd call him a genie. I think that's being a bit cheeky there. Guess I should have said wizard. Yeah. Good synopsis, though. Yeah. Okay, so my last one I got. So, um, after he, after his father tragically died in a workplace accident, this boy wants to follow his dad's legacy and try and um, live up to you know, and do things that his dad couldn't do. So, in doing that and having many setbacks, he eventually gets. Um, accepted into the training program and he has to face the person that was at fault for his dad's death and then um, eventually they become friends and have to be the savior of each other. His dad? Hmm. A question and ask me something. Okay. Um, is it a superhero movie or a sport movie? No, it's not a superhero movie and not a sport movie. Um, hmm. So his, his father died in a workplace accident. Um, he has grown up and wanted to pursue the same career as his dad did. Uh, and then he eventually, after many setbacks, gets into the training program where he has to face the man that was responsible for his dad's death. And eventually, they work together as a team to save each other from a tricky situation. Is this like, um... Hmm... Start putting the timer on. Oh, Creed? That's a good guess. It's not Creed, but that's a pretty good guess. No, it was Top Gun Maverick. Oh, okay. So his father died, um, and then he got accepted into the same training program, and then he had to meet with, um, with Maverick, who... Um, so he's not get Maverick. So he had to meet with him. And I said he was responsible. I didn't say he killed his dad. He mm. was just the one driving the plane. So mm. my last one is in this movie, this group of ragtag misfits work for the government on this secret mission and it doesn't go well and then they have to choose to uh do the right thing or to just do what suits them. Hmm. I think I know what it is, but it could be something else. Um, and it could also have multiple movies, so then I have to pick which one of those ones it is. Hmm. Do the right thing, or it suits themselves. <coughs> uh, I'll I'll go with. Avengers was the 
first the the event not end game the one before end game Infin- infinity war uh no the the suicide squads okay and that's the most recent one yeah yeah you're correct because you know at the end um amanda holler said don't save the civilians and then they had the choice to you know not to hmm, it's a good one okay so uh, what I, I ended up with one point and you got none, so we we weren't as good at it as we thought, or maybe we were good at disguising it. But fun video, something different to do. Yes. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if you like other part. Thank you for watching. Let the force be with you. Bye bye.